An Introduction to the Beetle Collector's Handbook by M. G. Leonard. My name is Dr. Montgomery George Leonard and I am a coleopterist. I study those charismatic six-legged beasties we call beetles. The qualifications you need to be a coleopterist are as follows. You must be young at heart, curious, questioning and brave. And I feel I must be frank about this. You must also be able to cope with the stomach-curdling smell of animal droppings, for there are many scarabs who love nothing more than a fresh mound of dung. I have filled the pages of this book with six-legged creatures to dazzle and amaze you. When you set out on expeditions of discovery, be sure to take this book with you. It is stuffed with helpful information about being an entomologist, a studier of insects. And luckily, it is the kind of book that increases in value the more grass stains and mud smears it accumulates. It was on my first expedition to Ecuador that I fell in love with Coleoptera. For what is there not to love about beetles? Whether they're firing boiling acid from their bottoms, letting rip a foul, stinking death fart, rolling dung, or navigating by the Milky Way, there's no end of things to delight in when studying beetles. It was apparently an observation first made by the British scientist Mr J. B. S. Haldane that the creator must have an inordinate fondness for beetles, for their species are as numerous and countless as the stars. This fondness is something I often think about as I lie on my back in the grass staring up at the night sky. For the beetle is the single most successful creature on the planet. You may think this planet belongs to us, but I hope you won't be alarmed when I inform you that actually it belongs to the beetles. After considerable thought, I have made some decisions about the content of this, the Beetle Collector's Handbook. Firstly, I have selected the species of beetle that I think are the most surprising, beautiful and impressive in the hope that this will inspire further reading and exploration. Secondly, there are many ways to arrange the contents of a book, and I have decided to shun the traditional taxonomy-based listing of species, which is rather like a dictionary and only helpful if you know what you are looking for. Instead, I have chosen a more playful grouping of beetles by shared traits, skills or appearance. I appreciate this approach is hardly scientific and there will be many of my esteemed colleagues at the Royal Entomological Society who will shake their heads and tut. But my intention is not to be comprehensive, rather to cause you to marvel and become excited. Thirdly, there is a scientific language that is commonly used when describing insects and much of it is in Latin. I was not a strong Latin scholar at school, and understanding the words seems alien. Nevertheless, some Latin words are too important to be done away with, so I have kept my language plain and only used a scientific word where none else will do. You see, young entomologist, you are very important, and I don't want the number of beetles to overwhelm you, or old-fashioned language to put you off. You have a vital role to play in protecting this planet. Whether you are exploring a rainforest or your own garden or a park, you are learning how our ecosystem works. This knowledge will bring you great joy and wonder, and I hope a desire to share your findings with others. My motto throughout the book is that we should observe, respect and protect the wildlife we have for it is disappearing at an alarming rate. As the human race continues to spread across the green surface of the earth, transforming it into bricks and mortar, it is vital that all girls and boys understand and admire beetles and other invertebrates. So I would like to make it clear that this book 
is most definitely for girls. There can be no gender bias when it comes to protecting the wildlife of this planet. Bugs are for girls, boys and everyone with a passion for conservation. I am at the end of my adventuring days now. Unable to venture forth, I have decided to dedicate my time to writing books about beetles. This is my first, and I do hope you find it useful. Yours faithfully, Monty G. Leonard. <laughs>